Hi, I'm David. Since I made my uh, Hanman restoration series uh, on my uh, M100, um, I received a lot of comments, a lot of uh, requests and personal messages about the um, speaker bypass mod and the ability that I have to just plug uh, my organ with a jack to an amplifier and just play it. So that's a beautiful uh, mod, and uh, I'm not the you know uh, I'm not the first that makes this mod. So uh, I don't know. Uh, it's uh, I don't take the credit for it, but um, uh, it actually allows you to bypass the speakers and have a direct output from your final um, stage of the amplifier. Obviously, it's mono. Uh, it's gonna be mono uh, output. You could actually. Uh, mod also the um, uh, the reverb amplifier which is there on the right and um, you know get a uh, an output a direct output also uh, from that but I don't really need it I have other um, spring reverbs uh, in my studio so I don't need another spring reverb and from a uh, from the uh, organ. But you can actually do it, it's pretty easy, again, and um, the whole mod is nothing really complicated. You see those, uh, a lot of wires there, and uh, uh, you see, uh, you, you think, it, oh, it will be actually super complicated, oh, yeah, I, I need a, a degree in uh, electronics and engineering. No, it's pretty easy, and uh, I think that uh, uh, anyone that has some experience with um, you know not really electronics but electricity and uh, how the um, and how uh, you know amplifiers work and uh, how speakers are connected and you know they they could just you could you could do it by yourself but I have to um, you know mention a disclaimer right there because um, Hammond organs are quite delicate and especially tubes, tube amplifiers like those are quite, uh, you know, are not delicate. But if you don't uh, know what you're doing, you could potentially hurt yourself or um, uh, fry your amplifier, uh, so the tubes, or potentially fry, which is bad, potentially fry your uh, output transformer, which is right there on the back. And if you fry that, uh, you're gonna be pretty much screwed because that will actually cost you quite a lot. Uh, essentially, it will actually um, you will have to you know get another amplifier and uh, get a donor amplifier for only for the transformer, uh, which is not a really good option. So if you are doing this mod, um, you know, uh, do it at your own risk because uh, you need to know how you know tubes tube amplifier work a little bit just just you know the basic stuff because if you don't have a load like your speakers or a load like a resistor they have um, that I have on my uh, speaker bypass um, uh, you're gonna actually fry your amplifier so yeah it, it, it is not good and also, you know, working with uh, those types of uh, amplifiers, you know, tubes are quite dangerous, not because they are really hot, uh, you know, also for that, but uh, because of the voltage they actually run, um, they run at uh, very high voltages. If you, uh, you know, stick your hand, if you take out a tube, uh, switch it on, stick your hand on the uh, connector, uh, well, you're gonna end up having a very, very bad day. All right, so here's a close look at the actual uh, bypass switch mod. As you can see, it's just a little switch with a, um, you know, attached to a right angle uh, aluminum heat sink um, because on the back we have a resistor. Uh, the resistor is very important and um, it actually um, work as a substitute 
to the speakers. So when you bypass the speakers, you just take out the um, signal from you know the amplifier. Uh, instead of going to the speakers, it goes directly through a resistor, which uh, will actually sync all the load. Basically, um, to do this mod, uh, you need to know uh, the impedance of your speakers. So to do that, you need a multimeter. Uh, you don't really need uh, the Fluke 87. Uh, you just need a regular multimeter that has the ohm function here to measure resistance. And you just stick, you disconnect uh, the, the outputs of the amplifier here. And you just dis disconnect everything on the speaker and you just stick your probes and you measure the resistance. All right, so those two speakers in my case, uh, your case uh, might be uh, different. I don't know, just measure the, um, the impedance. That's very important. Um, in my case, those two speakers are in parallel, as you can see here, and um, both are in parallel are 4 ohm impedance total. So um, the actual resistor that I'm gonna put here is a 4 ohm resistor. And in this case, I have a 20 watts, I think, um, 4 ohm resistor, which is more than adequate 20 watts. So when I flick the switch, in this case, goes directly through the speakers. And the amplifier is happy, it sees a, a load, a 4 ohm uh, impedance, which is correct, and everything is good, and it will actually output the sound through the speakers. All right, so uh, that will actually go right there, and you get your uh, organ uh, sound um, through the actual speaker, the internal speakers. Uh, when I flick the switch down here, uh, the actual sound, um, you know, the signal, um, instead of going to the speakers, it goes directly through the actual um, resistor. So the amplifier thinks, oh, well, that's the correct impedance, that's uh, everything hunky-dory, and I'm gonna actually output the sound through that resistor. And it thinks that's a speaker, but it's not a speaker, that's a resistor, but it actually matches the impedance of the speakers. So that's very important because if you don't really connect anything to it, it will actually probably uh, ruin your amplifier. So it's very important to match the impedance, get a correct, um, you know, um, a resistor and also a high um, wattage resistor like this. What you can do with this is just uh, tap um, directly through, um, you know, the speaker or uh, the actual um, directly from the amplifier output uh, and get a wire and connect it to a jack on the back. In this case, I have. Um, it's not really safe this way uh, because you could actually screw up everything and uh, you know really ruin everything. But uh, uh, this is what I do. Um, the jack output here, um, which is you, you can actually connect a jack, you know, unbalanced uh, normal jack on the back. Um, this is directly connected to the output transformer. So the signal you're getting out of this is directly the signal that goes uh, to the speakers or you know the resistor. Uh, but I'm tapping directly from the output transformer. So this this here is you could actually very well uh, connect this thing to you know, let's say a speaker and it will actually work just fine, but you have to match the impedance. So if you have a bypass switch right there, and if you don't have the resistor, uh, you could actually connect this thing directly to a matching uh, speaker, like in my case, an 8 ohm, sorry, a 4 ohm speaker, and this uh, will actually work just fine. Uh, but in this case, I have, you know, 
4 ohms um, when the speakers are connected and 4 ohms when I have the speakers bypassed but the 4 ohms are just the resistor that is actually uh, placed on the back here and you know uh, just bypassing the speakers so I always have a load so if you connect this thing to a speaker let's say um, you're gonna actually um, you know screw up the uh, the impedance of the thing and the transformer it will not get uh, it would it won't really be happy at all so just don't screw up here in my case I I just do this because I have what is called a DI box a DI box allows you this is a very high impedance I uh, DI box so here the input is a very high impedance um, so basically, uh, this thing here um, has a transformer inside. So when I connect this thing to the input, all right, you connect the transformer to a very high impedance here. So it won't really affect the um, the impedance, the the everything that you have matched here. You know, the impedance of the speakers and, or the resistors here, the load. Uh, it won't really affect that. So the transformer will be happy again and you obtain a output here. The output will be balanced, the, it, which is very good because you can you could have a very long wire di directly attached to the Hammond organ. For example, if you are in a concert or whatever and you want to you know, record the thing or whatever, you can have a balanced output and you can have a very long wire without having the you know noise problems or whatever um, but you can actually directly connect this thing to your uh, digital uh, workstation or if you have a you know preamplifier of some sort uh, because um, if it is too high if the level is too high this little DI box which by the way this is a you know China uh, DI box it costs like nine euros I think and has also the instrument and speaker and little switch here so you can this basically is a resistor here that um, um, gets your level very low so you're gonna put another resistor uh, in series basically and um, uh, it will actually lower uh, your uh, input level and the output level will be very low and suitable for you know something like a um, a digital audio workstation or a microphone preamplifier whatever you want really because the output of the speaker will be a really high level if you you know connect this thing directly to your um, you know microphone preamplifier you probably gonna screw it up if it doesn't have a transformer inside or the pad input uh, the minus 20 DB for example uh, you're probably gonna screw everything up uh, you know that is this is an example of the airbox it costs nothing really nine euros it's it's very nice I use it every time and it gives uh, a very clean sound but basically you could actually go with a, a little bit uh, more expensive one here is the you know um, the input um, instrument input it's uh, um, less than minus 20 DB and here is the uh, speaker uh, input is um, minus uh, 42 so it's pretty good you have the line uh, switch pr pretty good and always your output are balanced because there is a bit there are in this case there are two transformers and the transformer is essential for this part if you fear to screw everything up I highly suggest you to just connect the output of the transformer like I did but instead of going directly to the uh, jack connector you just uh, stick this thing on the bottom and connect it directly here and you have a balanced connector on the back so you won't really screw everything up if you connect this thing to a speaker for example
All right, so let's see the circuitry in detail here. Um, so it will be much easier, uh, perhaps. All right, so you have the uh, output of the transformer. Uh, let's say this is the transformer, and I uh, should have two wires. And um, so those two wires, uh, one, um, one of those two goes uh, to the resistor and to the speakers okay so let's um, I'm gonna draw one speaker only uh, but there are two speakers really um, so this is the resistor uh, and this is the this will be the bypass switch so we'll draw it like this okay so we have the commutator right there and the other wire coming out of the transformer goes to the switch. All right, so the switch will actually toggle between either the resistor or the speaker. So the other wire to the speaker goes right there. So as you can see, the circuitry is very simple and the switch you're gonna use it, this switch here will go pretty good you know has three um, three pins right there and you uh, this wire here is uh, coming from the the wire coming from the uh, transformer goes in the middle and it actually toggles between those two other pins so Really, what you're doing is toggling, uh, is uh, switching between the resistor or the speakers. So the transformer will be actually happy because if the signal goes here and um, gets right there, gets both to the uh, actual speaker and the resistor. Geez, this thing doesn't really write. Um, but and it's okay. And the transformer, when he, the switch is this way here, for example, goes right there to the speaker and it's all hunky-dory. If uh, this is not going right there, uh, but it's actually going in the other direction, right there, it goes to the resistor and this, the actual transformer and everything will be hunky-dory as well because it sees it actually, um, you know, gets the right impedance and will be happy. So that's the basic, really basic uh, circuitry right there. But how, what I did here is just tapped uh, from, you know, either of those two. Okay, so you have those and those are going to the jack connector. Uh, but really, those are going to my DI box, which is just a transformer. So you have a, tr a very high impedance uh, trans transformer and you're gonna go right there, you're gonna get to, you know, a balanced output. You know, it's it's a simple mod, but uh, again, be really careful, you could actually ruin your, uh, your amplifier and it's a very expensive fix. Okay, so hope you uh, found this thing uh, useful. And um, so again, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.